Hello everyone, my name is Brian Kayongo and I'm excited to be here today with you with another episode. I'm talking about uh, one of the key questions so many people have been asking me, how I keep myself motivated, especially like when we passed through COVID when everyone was like down, people were like, okay, should I give up on my life? Other people were like, no, this is my time to go through and be a winner in this situation. Generally, I like, keep myself motivated by knowing my goal, having my goal right and creating the goal which keeps me awake, not the goals which make me just comfortable. Like I, I put my goal way out there so that even if I attain 80% of it, I've extremely excited, exceeded even the target goal which I had. Like for example, okay, if I want to make 100,000 US dollars, I'll say, okay, this year, can I make 200,000 US dollars? But I know definitely by God's grace, I will make at least like, 150,000. That shows me that even I can exceed to the 80% close to the target goal which I give. So those goals keep me motivated. That, that, that those are financial goals which keep me motivated, focused, and stay motivated. Some other people, they stay motivated because they're connected spiritually. And some other people stay motivated when they're connected with a good relationship of company, people around them. How the people around you, are they positive? Because they tell you, tell me around the five people you move around with, I will tell you the character you are. So for me, I keep myself really motivated around the people who are around me. They know it and also them, they, they keep motivating me. If they see me, I'm slowing down, they tell me, no, that's not how you are. They direct me. They know my goal. I, they, it's like you keeping yourself with the people who even don't understand what is your vision, don't understand what is your goal, your end goal. And does that go attain to them? And does it connect to them? You get what I'm saying? So I mix much the, the friendship and the relationship I have with people. The people around me, my goals and my future is connected to them. Like when I succeed, they succeed. When I grow, they grow. Like it's attain to them to continue making me motivated, to continue guide, uh, reminding me the goal and that keeps me motivated instead of going like in two circles and say oh my god what was my goal no i keep track of that goal because the people around me see it visually see me talking about it every day see me immediately about it almost every time so that's another point which keeps me motivated i will tell you another thing is that you rewriting your vision or your goal can keep you motivated. It reminds you again, because some people are visual writing, like when they write things, like people who like to do journals, when you go back and revise your journal, it connects you back to your vision, it connects you back to your story. But there are all those people who are like, oh, I cannot do a journal. They are not journal people, kind of people. So this point which I'm giving, I, I know it relates so much to the people who are like journal keepers, people who write in journals, people who like to write, who keep their book on the side of the bed and every day. And those people, they succeed differently. But I'm not saying the people who people who don't use gen, uh, journals and all what, they don't succeed. They succeed. Everyone succeeds in their own way. It's like, which way are you going to go around to your traffic of success? Are you going to make circles? Are you going to make a straight line? Are you going to do what? Because... The more you don't get tired, the more you get more energy to push and push and push. So that, that that's one of the things, like, for me, I've seen in using journals, writing my stuff down, rewriting it again, like, it keeps me in a straight line. So that if I was going to take another route, I avoid those detroits of uh, getting off from what I was supposed to be doing. I don't build me myself. I build a brand. And the brand is what? Like, the companies which are behind me, like, uh, I'm in healthcare. So I have a healthcare company, like I'm in real estate, I do real estate, like I mean, uh, we, we, we do like movies, we do like di different, we are in movie productions, uh, we, we also teach, help people to start their own business and build them to a million dollar business. So these brands which are behind me, there are a couple of things, but um, you ask yourself, oh, how does he do all that? Uh, I do all that because the people are around me again, it brings me to the same point, they know the vision. They understand where we're going. And me to myself as an individual, I've drawn the vision a couple of times to, to anyone who gets close to me. It's like a magnet. When you attach to me, like you get to understand where the visions go, where we are going. You're going to understand what is the right direction we're going to get. So 
in that actual sense, like the brands which I build, everyone who is into those brands, they're above me. It's not just an individual thing. It's like a machine which I know, okay, even if I'm not here in the future, these machines will start moving forward. Even if it's a generation business, I'm building it like a generation business. I'm, I, I don't build my businesses for my kids. I build them to my gr grandkids or my great grandkids so that they have that foundation. That's the foundation I'm laying into everything which I'm doing. So I think that that closely, like I've given a couple of points, like which, what keeps me motivated and more. I, and I'll continue sharing more of what, because I've taken long to do a couple of videos for you guys. I've been uh, learning from other experts and through that journey of learning, uh, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the ideas and some of the solutions and the plan strategies you can, the strategies which you can use definitely to be a winner in this coming year 2022. Right now is the right time to start planning. Don't wait January 1st, then you start making your goals and vision and whatever you will have to plan about. Right now is the time to start. Start now, enter 2020 when you have a strategic plan, when you're already having the right team of people who are winners, and when also you too, you're ready to be a winner. Mindset first, the rest follows. Thank you.